Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this makeup look done. Um, I did my face beforehand, so it's kind of like a quick little tutorial. I decided to play with like this yellow eyeshadow from the Jacqueline Armed and Gorgeous palette. So yeah, I just played with it, went along with it, added butterflies. That's 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 what I went for. Really quick and easy. I think, I mean, yeah, <laughs> aside from the fact that I'm putting the butterflies on your actual face is a little bit hard because they fall everywhere and they get stuck everywhere as you can see, so yeah. Um, without further rambling, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, so I already have my face on, I pre-filmed the video and, you know, did my makeup off camera and um, I'm just going to get straight into my eyes and just do my lips, you know, keep it a short video this time. You know we like long ones here in our channel, you know. But we're gonna we're gonna make it short this time for you guys. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear anything outside. My aunts are watching something, and if you can hear telenovelas or something like that, I am sorry. I'm gonna try to mask it out, but I can't. Um, today I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Vault Palette. Um, this is the Armed and Gorgeous one. You can get them individually, or you can get them uh, as the whole vault. I have the entire thing here. So I'm going to use this one and today I kind of feel like using yellow and these butterflies. I have some on my nails, um, I know they're looking a little bit beat up but that's fine. Um, I have some on my nails like this. They're actually fluorescent ones that I have here. So um, I don't think I'm going to go for the fluorescent ones, I think I'm going to go for the yellow ones that are right here. So it's a butterfly yellow inspired look, I don't know how it's going to turn out but we'll see. I We're playing with makeup, we're, 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 we're doing it. So I'm going to go in with the shade Axis, this yellow one, and just basically put it all over the place. I feel like I'm doing like a monochrome look today, so I thought it would be a nice contrast with the lavender on my shirt. Ooh, hi pigment. I haven't used this shade before, I think. With the same brush, I'm going to use the shade Secure, this orange, nice orange one, and then I'm going to dab into that one for the outer corner bit, I think. I don't know where I'm going with this, but let's see. Just apply it like around here and have that ombre ish look going on there. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm going to grab Axis again and I'm going to just blend that orange out like so. I'm going to use Guilt Trip and then I think put a little bit of this on top of Coin. So I'm going to grab it on my brush off a little bit and then use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, it's a step setting spray, and just spray it a little bit and apply it to my eyeball. Oh yes. So I want it to merge and merge and I want it to like not. I'm imagining like a warm sun on my lid. So usually I wouldn't put any shimmers up here, but I'm kinda going for it, you know? Like I don't know where I'm going with this, but Then with the blending brush, just blend out these edges. I'm liking it. I'm actually just gonna go ahead right now and um, use the shade Axis under my eyes because I want to join everything together. So just get a blending brush. Using a tinier brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Agent that I said I would. This agent that I said I would and I'm just gonna tap it a little bit and move most of the excess eyeshadow and just using a Morphe E17 brush I'm gonna do kind of like a rounded pencil brush I think it's gonna work okay I'm gonna wet it first with the setting spray and then using the shade VIP, I'm going to apply a little bit of it on the inner corner. Just 
maybe a little bit less. I'm gonna go into the guilt trip shade, the yellow shade that I have on there, and just dab a little over it so it's not too white. You know? Okay, I'm gonna add the butterflies, I think, like going out. Don't know. Okay, so I've applied the butterflies kind of like in a winged liner type of shape. I mean, I kind of... I feel like I could have done something more, not just like, you know, butterflies going out into a liner. But I'm gonna apply lashes and mascara right now off camera and then go on with the lip. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And again, I'm just playing with makeup. But... Okay, I've applied mascara and some lashes. I think these are Ardell lashes, if I'm not mistaken. I, um, I have them in these lash kits that I have actually. It's really cute, it says lashes on sleek, you can't see it, but maybe there you go, lashes on sleek. And um, I just put my lashes there because I have so many that I have lying around. So I decided to purchase that and keep them there so I don't just leave them lying there and they get dusty and crusty. But um, I have them in order, I have, I'll have link them down below, I know which ones they are. I ordered them specifically for me which one was which and took a photo of the boxes right next to them so don't worry I know which lashes these are if you're interested in their drugstore obviously like I rarely buy expensive lashes but sometimes they're good enough <laughs> but because I use them so much and I just chuck them for an everyday type of thing I recommend the drugstore lashes I believe these are Ardell they must be like seven pounds um but now I'm gonna use for my lip the Morphe Frenchy lip liner and I'm just gonna line these crusty little lips because I have foundation all over them. You know? And now, so I want like a light glossy lip. I'm using the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 01. I think it's called the Glow, I believe. I just I love this lip gloss, it's literally my favorite, favorite out of all of them. And now to set everything, I haven't put setting spray on, I'm just trying to remove the dryness and the cakiness around my nose. that is the finished makeup look I really hope you liked it um I had fun playing with makeup I mean I'm not going anywhere it's like 30 p.m. I'm literally just gonna go to the living room and have some dinner and then remove the makeup off after a few hours but it is what it is you know quarantine playing with makeup trying new things out just I wanted to play with that color essentially so I hope you liked it if you did please give a thumbs up um if you have any colors or suggestions or anything that you want me to do play with any inspiration just comment down below, suggest it, I'll do it 100%, send, I don't know, send me stuff on Instagram or Snapchat, um, and I'll check it out and try to do it for you guys, but yeah, keep them busy in quarantine, <laughs> I really hope you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of this family, you know you're gonna come back for more videos anyway, so you might as well, you know, you know, click, click subscribe, you know, cause like, why not? <laughs> right now, as of today, we're almost at 200 subscribers. I'm at 197, so please, those three beautiful people and beings that would want to come back to this weirdness, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.